Seahawks had one job and two candidates for that job. It came down to Carlos Hyde and Devontae Freeman. They put the offer out there. Devontae Freeman didn't want it. Hyde took it. A one-year deal worth up to $4 million. The key phrase there is up to until we know the triggers. We don't know what he has to do to make the $4 million. What we do know is Devontae Freeman won't be playing for the Seahawks. Will he be playing for anyone else? Reports suggesting he'll sit out the year if he doesn't get the offer that he wants. Reports suggesting maybe he'll retire. He reacted to that angrily on Twitter last night in a now-deleted tweet saying that he's not retiring. Kill that retirement bleep. And F all y'all was his parting shot on the tweet that was later deleted. He's been hanging around Sims a little bit too much. Look, Chris, here's the bottom line. Devontae Freeman's a guy who's made a lot of money playing running back. He's at the point in his career and his life where they're not going to pay him the way that they used to pay him. The sun has set on Devontae Freeman's high-dollar seasons. He has to ask himself, am I willing to keep playing if I'm going to make a lot less than what I'm accustomed to? And I think most running backs are going to go through that at some point. It's not like Frank Gore's yeah. getting big money to continue his career. Adrian Peterson's not getting big money to continue his career. So Devontae Freeman has to ask himself, how much is it worth it for me to continue to play football? And right now it looks like whatever's being offered, it's not worth it. No, you know, and, you know, again, and, and Devontae Freeman, who, of course, had a great start of his career, but let's, and let's not forget, he hasn't rushed for 1,000 yards since 2016. So I don't know why he thinks he's going to be able to hold team's feet to the fire. Like, they're going to be like, oh, man, we got to have you. Oh, no, here's $10 million. We were wrong. No, that's not going to happen. And, yes, I mean, to what you're saying, Mike, Devontae Freeman's got to figure that out. You know, he's one of those guys that plays the position like he's like Ezekiel Elliott or Derrick Henry, but – He's five, you know, five eight, two hundred and six, two hundred and eight pounds, something like that. So I would think his body is, you know, it's it's beat up already. Um, so he is going to have to make that judgment on whether he wants to continue to play for whatever the league minimum is for somebody that's played that long in his career or whatever it may be, and just and basically get incentives. Yeah, that's what it's going to have to be until he kind of reproves himself, and then maybe he can get more some guaranteed money with the next contract or something like that. He added in that deleted tweet that he has 10 more years left in him. I think that is overly Negative optimistic. But, but, but here's the thing, Chris. What he needs to do is accept the fact that if the offers aren't where he would like them to be, go somewhere and be part of a platoon system. Be part of a revolving door, a rotation, which will extend your career. If you're not right. being overused, you're going to be able to get – yeah, that's the question. How brightly do you want the candle to burn? He's burned it brightly so far. Now he's at the point where maybe you want to go a slow burn and play longer, make less, but extend your career. Seattle seemed like it would have been the right place. You know, you get to be a running back and a team that's most likely going to be a winner this year, going to be in the playoff conversation. We know they like to run the ball. They have all the running backs you talked about. I'm shocked he didn't take that deal. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.